Shane Gibson here, CMA Canada with Vanita Peak, who's Vice President of Marketing Communications for CMA BC. And this morning we had a great conversation about marketing to millennials. Right. And, uh, you know, a big uh, target market for CMA is, of course, you know, people going through university or have been in work for four or five years in a leadership position who have got an accounting designation or are looking to get an accounting designation and marketing to them. And how quickly we can come out of touch with the target market. And she shared this poster with me. You might want to come a bit closer and take a look at it. And I think this is great. I mean, we see accountants, certified management accountants. And I thought this is very, you know, this is a great sort of ad. And this is sort of a, a, this wasn't released, but it was an idea put together by a marketing team. And Vita, maybe you could share with us sort of the reaction you got. Well, this is actually used in a case study in uh, some research that we were doing a couple of years ago to define whether or not people realize the difference between certified management accountants and the accounting designations. And so we thought what better is to uh, put up three characters that we thought were well known uh, in all age categories and, and define what a CMA was and how their thought process was versus other people. So we picked up a Star Trek image oh, such as this. Right your wall. There you go. And, um, and the reaction, talking about a generation gap, was quite a shock to us because when we showed these, um, this picture to university students uh, we didn't define who they were, we didn't give them any description whatsoever. What we did was we said, okay, can you explain to us what this picture was? The students had no idea that these were Star Trek characters out of major motion uh, picture films and off of TV. And so we said, well, who's who? Well, their definition of who these people were was, the guy in the middle has to be the president and CEO because he's sitting in a chair. He's being <laughs> surrounded by his executive team. The guy to the right, which is Doc, um, he had to be the accountant because he was really serious and uh, accountants are serious for that point. And the guy to the left with the funny ears, well he had to be in marketing because nobody but somebody in marketing would put funny ears on. So it really was a shock to me as to the generation gap because this is something that I grew up with, my children grew up with, and to show it to this target market who had no idea who these people were and couldn't relate to them was a real eye-opener for me as to what the millennials' minds or how the millennials' minds were really working. And I think it's a great, just to wrap it up here, uh, is, and thanks for letting me in your office <laughs> and taking things off your wall, uh, is I think a great thing to look at here is that we go back to the lessons around social media marketing versus traditional marketing and how millennials really consume that information is a big part of it is listening to your customer. Marketing today is about listening, not about blasting a message out. And I think the great thing that CMA did here is before you blasted this message out in a little vacuum and said, hey, this is fantastic, let's, let's run these ads on billboards, is the realization was is that when you listen to your market, kind of missed. Exactly. Uh, and it's amazing how quickly a concept or an icon can be outdated. And so I think that's a, it's a really interesting lesson. It was. It was very interesting. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Great.